We've all done embarrassing things as kids. I'm sure you lie awake at night cringing at when you said uwu and ironically in third grade. I know I do. Well, I'm here to make you all feel exponentially better about yourselves. Your embarrassment is NOTHING compared to mine. I've seen <coughs> shit. You can't even begin to imagine my suffering. So don't even try, okay? Don't even try- <coughs> Way back in 6th grade, when I was but a young lad, I got really into gotcha life. This had been an ongoing phase, but I'd just gotten my first phone, and I was ready to be the best gosh dang gotcha tuber the world has ever seen. So naturally, I started off with a few gotcha life music videos, then I made some skits, then I got fucking bored of that lame ass shit. I didn't want to be just some average Joe who was making gotcha life music videos. Oh, please, anyone could do that. I need something bigger. Something better to finally prove my worth to the gotcha community. So I dedicated the next few months of my life and a lot of my phone storage to making a gotcha series called The Virus. And instead of being a normal person and just making some ugly neon characters, I included all my real life friends in this series without asking them if I could put them in beforehand. But that's not even the worst part, because not only did I include them without their knowledge, I killed them off one by one. And you might be thinking, well, at least they never found out, right? Wrong! I didn't ask to include them in this messed up gotcha Hunger Games shit, but by god, were they gonna watch it? So as soon as I posted the stupid virus series, I was screaming at all my friends to subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch it. None of my friends actually ever said anything about the series, but I can imagine their reactions when they actually went to my channel. Okay, Oyster just yelled at me for 10 minutes straight to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Guess I'll watch one of his videos. Alright, uh, let's see. What's the virus? Hey, this isn't too bad so far. Wait, wait, is that me? <laughs> okay, uh, that's a, a little strange, but maybe I'll be a cool main character or something. Did I just fucking die? I'm beginning to see why I didn't have a lot of friends in middle school. <laughs> It was a sunny day, and I was peacefully eating lunch with my friend. So you remember how I was really excited about this whole phone thing? Yeah, well, I wanted everyone's number. My friend's numbers, my friend's friend's numbers, my friend's friend's great-grandparents' numbers, my dog's number. I didn't care whose number I got. I just wanted to fill out my empty-ass contacts. So as any idiot would do, I asked my friend for her mom's phone number, and for some reason she gave it to me? I decided to hold off on texting her mom until I had the perfect opening message. It was later that day when I was home and taking a shit that the perfect text message to send her mom popped into my little walnut-sized brain. I decided to text this poor woman that I was, and I quote, so proud of her for raising a child on her own. Good God, why? Yeah, dude! Great opening message! Send a single mom that you, some random 6th grader, is so proud of her for raising her children? What was I thinking?! Her only response to my message was correcting my god-awful grammar. I cried. I'm a sweaty guy. I'm not afraid to admit it, but thankfully I wear deodorant, so I usually don't stink. Usually. It was a really hot day, and I was forced to wear a skin-tight, long sleeve black dress that reached past my ankles for a choir concert. Thankfully, we got to go inside for the concert itself, but there was one minor problem. The AC was out. I live in Texas, mind you. When it gets hot outside, it gets hot! So I was sweating up a storm. No big deal, though, because I brought deodorant, obviously. I didn't bring deodorant. I forgot it when I was getting ready because I was trying to fit into this tight-ass dress and had forgotten to grab it. Fucking sue me, okay? When the concert wrapped up, all the choir kids were gathering together and listening to the teacher explain how we're gonna get back to class and whatnot. I yawn and stretch because I'm tired as hell, man. I sang my little heart out. The girl next to me makes a face and immediately moves away from me and starts whispering to her friend. I think, okay, fuck you, bitch. I literally didn't do anything and I put my hands on my hips because I'm pissed off now then I get a whiff of my smell <laughs> it was so bad I'm surprised they didn't think there was a goddamn gas leak in the building to whoever that girl was I am so sorry we got off on the wrong foot I promise I'm not usually a nasty smelly boy I promise I own deodorant <laughs>
I don't really have an outro, so I'm just gonna like talk over whatever I decide to put here. Um, thank you for watching. If any of my old classmates who were a part of that virus series are still watching my channel for some reason, hi, leave. I, I can't live with this shame, I'm sorry. I know I brought this upon myself, but you are not welcome here. <laughs> That's just a joke, I swear. You, you can stay, I guess. Just don't comment on my videos so I don't have to know you're here. Alright, peace out.